This is part three of my tutorial series on cycles rendering and texture maps. So in this lesson, we're going to take a look at something else, a different type of projection. We've looked at generated projection automatically. Uh, UV coordinates is what we did in the last lesson. And in this lesson, we'll take a look at camera view projection. Okay, so it sounds pretty intuitive, so we'll see what it is. But first of all, notice that I'm here in edit mode. And in this case, this was our sphere just a minute ago, and I've just extruded it up like this. Well, I can't do it now because he's already... He's already goofed up, but he, that was the sphere a minute ago. I grabbed just the top coordinates and moved it up. But notice, since I'm in edit mode, only those coordinates show up. That's why, remember when I was switching back and forth between edit and object mode? Only when you were in edit mode did you see them. So you can control only what you see by having these selected like this. All right, but I'm going to select them all for the moment and show the whole map here like this. But And then I'm going to leave edit mode and go back into... Uh, where's our where's our view? There it is. There's material mode, and there's our projection of this onto this oblong thing right here now, like this. All right, so there it is sideways. We can verify. Let's go to edit mode, and you can see where is it. It's it's kind of marked onto there, and then so you can tell that part of the image isn't going to show up. We can see only. So we see that part of the blue ring that's in the mapped area that goes down to the points like that, but we don't see this half anywhere on here. If we came over here and pressed G, we could actually put it all over the top, so now we should see the entire blue ring, one going up towards the pole there, like that. Yikes. I mean, I think you get the idea, like that, okay. So there's that, but now also let's look back in the scene just a little bit and see where my camera is located. I happen to have the camera located over here, and just for the moment, I had uh, tracked this camera to this object now. So let's look at it from camera view for a moment. All right, so now we're looking at it from the perspective of the camera, as you, as you can see right here. So now what we're going to do instead is we're going to take this object, and we're just going to use, since this is just going to become intuitively simple for you in just a heartbeat, you're going to say, all right, well, we've... Here's our image texture that's still open, and there's our shader, there's our material, and here's our texture coordinates. Well, we used generated coordinates, and we saw what that did automatically, and then we just used UV coordinates in the last lesson, but now we're going to use the camera as our texture coordinates. Well, if that's the way our camera's pointing, let's see what happens. Let's remove that, and we'll connect the camera view like this. And you're not going to see it until you actually come over in here and move the window. So I'm going to move it forward like that with the wheel mouse and suddenly there's the view from the camera. Alright, so I'm going to rot I'm going to go press 0 or the DEL key so I can be around it. And if I rotate around them, see what is happening in here? It's just staying, let's see, from above. And there's the projection. See the map is kind of floating on the surface like this. All right, you can see it there at the top like that. Okay, and if we were to go get camera view, let's try this. Let's get 3D view over here and we'll leave that in camera view and I'll press one over here and then I'll go grab the camera. Now let's move the camera up and down. And you can see, well we're seeing it. Let's move it over here close to the scene. We'll go in normal mode like I like to work and we'll move it in well no let's go global I'll just move it in this way and in this way and you see we're looking right over the top like that alright so each one gives kinda of gives you a different effect I don't typically use camera mode but it's something that uh, you might want to experiment with for particular reasons. Notice how that texture is staying right there like that, staying in the center as the camera moves with the scene, right? Instead of you moving around uh, the object, if I was to put it in a node editor, let's go back to the node editor. Gotta get that. And let's go back to like generated coordinates and move it in there. See, notice the whole texture stays fixed onto the object at that location. 
whereas in camera view when I move it like that it's just pointed right at the camera essentially the whole time like that all right I hope that kind of gives you an idea I think it probably does it's fairly straightforward so we've covered let's see we've looked at generated UV and camera we're gonna come back to UV a lot and then we'll cover these others like normal maps we'll cover those but those are later there's a little more complicated and um, we'll probably just do more UV maps for the time being and so okay that's it for this lesson I'll see you in the next lesson